wait what you hike in trail runners and not hiking boots it is becoming more and more common to hike in trail runners and trainers these days especially on through hikes i have hiked in hiking boots in the past but since doing long distance trails i soon found the benefits of hiking in trainers instead now there are many fours and against hiking boots versus trainers but from my personal experience i have hiked the pacific crest trail the coast to coast, the West Highland Way, the Great Glen Way, shall I go on? All in trail runners. But the ones I used were not just any trainers, they were special trail running shoes, designed, well, for the trail of course. My theory being, if you can run on trails in them, you can hike on trails in them. And the ones I choose are Brooks. I have been a fan of these for a very long time and I have never looked back. And I thought it was about time I did a video on them and share my experience of the most recent pair I've got, which is the Brooks Cascadia 16s. I thought I would go through some basics with you, but then share my personal experience of wearing these ones, as well as how they compare to previous models, which I have had many. I've had the 12s, the 13s, 14s, 15s, and now these. So let's get into the details. They are a trail running shoe provided with seeds to scatter along the trails, which I think is a nice touch. They are available as men's or women's, currently at £120. The women's sizes go from a UK 3 to a UK 10 and the men's go from a UK 6 to a 14. They have an 8mm drop and weigh between 269 grams and 300 grams. Brooks state these shoes offer an all-terrain stability and durable protection with softer and lighter cushioning than before to ensure a continuously smooth ride. Although I like to hike and run in these shoes, what I want to do today is just go through my experience really about hiking in them. But where appropriate, I will dip into a few things that I've noticed when running as well. They are great hiking over rocks, especially with a heavy backpack on. The cushioning is much better than previous models. It's thicker and so far there hasn't been any deterioration of the material like I've had with previous pairs. And as soon as I put these on, I could tell they felt more cushioned. Now they're not meant for speed or paved roads, so they're not a lightweight shoe. They're designed for trails, so there's more focus on durability, traction and stability. They've got good sized lugs and I get a good grip in both wet and dry terrains. They're ever so slightly slippy on shaly descents, but I would say that this probably couldn't be avoided with many other shoes. They've got gaiter tabs on the heels with Velcro, which are designed for gaiters. But to be honest, I use mine to hang on the washing line after rinsing them out after they've been very muddy. There are technical details like the ballistic rock shield, but you can read all about those details on the website. But to simplify, this means they have increased the protection from uneven trails underfoot. For me, I still get that smooth heel to toe transition when hiking, and it doesn't feel restricted despite the improvements. The toe has extra protection too, which is great when kicking those tree roots. One thing I do like is the drainage ports in them, so you don't end up having more than a few steps without water slushing around between your toes. There is a Gore-Tex version, which I've never tried. So if there's anybody watching this that has any experience, please do let me know. It's something that I've always wondered about, but never really gone and tried because I did wonder if it would make your feet sweat more than normal. They've got thick textured laces, which have never once come undone. And I think they are lasting pretty well, considering I have done over 300 miles in these. So they are still going strong. I have done a bit of research about what people seem to like and dislike about this new style. And I found that a common complaint is the toe box. Some people say they find it too big. Other people say they find it too small. I'm like Goldilocks, I've found it just right in the end and I think that I've got a normal size width feet. If you've got narrow feet, I would say they probably would be a little bit too roomy, so I'd definitely make sure you try these on. For anyone that has seen any of my review videos, you will know I am always incredibly honest and say if there's anything that I don't like about anything that I'm using as well. I can honestly say with these, there's only two things that I wasn't that keen on one of which I could probably have avoided if I'd have done a little bit more research. So the first thing was that they were much tougher on the midsole. I found them a lot stiffer than what I was used to. Because I use them mainly for hiking, it wasn't too much of a problem and I did get used to it after a couple of walks. But when I went out running for the first time, it was incredibly noticeable. I really felt it in the ball of my foot when landing on rocks and uneven objects. 
Again, I did get used to it, but it is just very different to the previous models as it doesn't feel as cushioned when landing. So it's just something to bear in mind. Secondly, I found that they ran a little bit smaller than the previous Cascadia models. Now, I always order a particular size, which is half a size more than my actual shoe size. Always worked well for me in the past, and it was a rookie error, and I do not mind admitting it, that I ordered it online, didn't think I needed to get it checked in store. When it arrived, I could tell that it was a bit tighter, but I just presumed I'd really worn out my old ones and I'd got used to them being a lot more wider. But a couple of times of walking in them and then heading out onto the coast to coast with a heavy backpack, doing more than 20 miles a day in them, my feet swelled and there was not enough room for me. So I would definitely say, obviously get them checked in store if you can, or if you do order them online, wear them around the house, but really make sure that you've got enough room in them. Those with narrower feet might find it okay because the toe box, like some people have said, does seem a little bit wider. Finally, I just wanted to say that I think the customer service at Brooks is also really good. Sometimes it's not just about the products, it's about the service and the company as well. I've had really good dealings with them in the past, and if I've ever had a problem, they've helped me out very quickly and sorted things out. I also want to say that I think it's fantastic that this shoe is also vegan friendly. So if there's anybody out there looking for a vegan friendly shoe, I'd highly recommend looking at these two. Also, this was a gifted product. So I have not been sponsored or paid. I've had no money whatsoever for doing this video. It's just something I said I would do because they sent me a free pair of the trail runners. I have always bought all my previous pairs in the past, which there have been many, <laughs> um, but these were gifted. But all the views are my own. Nobody's checking this video before it goes up on YouTube. It is entirely my own opinion. But if you've got any questions about it, please do let me know in the comments. I hope this video has been helpful. And if you've enjoyed it, please give me a like and consider subscribing. Not forgetting to turn on the bell notification so you're notified when I upload videos. Also, check me out over on Patreon. I will put the details along here for you. That is somewhere where you can become a member of my Patreon for as little as three pounds a month. You get so many extra benefits. You get to see photographs of me that I don't share anywhere else. You get Patreon only videos. You get to vote on things. You get to come along on trails with me. I share an awful lot more things over on Patreon. So please consider subscribing. There is no commitment if you decide to change your mind and you don't want to continue with it. You can cancel at any time. Time, but go check it out and have a look see if it's something for you i'm also over on instagram which is mary's outdoor adventures so check me out over there and i will look forward to seeing you all in the next video goodbye